Hey, what is up YouTube? The Professor here, back with another review. And for all you Whovians out there, this is a review of Doctor Who, the fourth Doctor's sonic screwdriver. Yes, I will be reviewing the iconic classic Tom Baker. Very exciting. Now, right off the bat, you can see it's got some very nice silver paint on the body. As you can tell, this body has been used for most of the classic screwdrivers. You can tell it in, thir in the third Doctor Sonic screwdriver, the fifth, the fourth, obviously. The uh, seventh slash eighth Doctor Sonic. And the War Doctor Sonic. They all had this silver body with this dot up here. And anyway, I think it's a very nice screwdriver. You've got these three black lines going across here. This one black one, this one black line going across the bottom of the body, and this ring as well as this black line dot. I know I said line. And overall, it's a pretty nice design for the screwdriver. Um, it's very uh, show accurate in terms of looks. Like you got this uh, red wheel up there. You got this little bullet bit, and the magnet. But, I don't know how well this will show up on camera, but if you can see inside, they did not paint it black, gray, or silver to match the rest of the magnet, which I really would have liked them to do because, oh wait, here it is. You can see it's like, kind of like a burgundy. And the uh, top of the screwdriver is made out of that softish, bendy plastic. Very nice. Um, so if you drop it, you won't break the wheel or the magnet or anything. And when I meant show accurate, I meant like this little black bit, whereas the third Doctor Sonic, um, the silver collar went all the way up to the top. And now for the fourth Doctor, it was lowered for a little bit. The silver paint is really nice. Again, I don't have the packaging, but I bet you can find a video on that. It's pretty, it looks very beautiful as a screwdriver, except for like all this legal garb and all, and this battery compartment. But as you can tell... You're going to be pointing the screwdriver like that, and your hand's going to basically be covering it. So, I don't really find it annoying. On the bottom, there's your speaker with a lot more legal guard, but CE, I know it stands for something, but I don't know. So, could someone tell me? And, yeah, pretty much, it's pretty much accurate. You got these uh, little dents where the screws go in to hold these uh, little bars. And, yeah, it's pretty nice. But be warned, um, the silver paint does tend to scratch off. Not fairly easy, but, eh, easy enough to affect it. But anyway, it's pretty much show accurate in looks, because... Sound effect-wise? It's just basically a slightly altered 11th slash 12th Doctor Sonic. Or 10th, I could get that wrong. But someone's probably gonna correct me on that in the comments. But anyway, yeah, those are two of the four sounds the screwdriver comes with. And yeah, it wouldn't. It Would it seriously have hurt them that much to put in the correct sounds? Because it does come with uh, two other sounds. It comes with a scanning sound and this beeping sound. Or this long, continuous beep, I should say. Which, I believe, are a few of the classics. But anyway, it wouldn't have hurt them to uh, put in a correct sound chip. It wouldn't have hurt them that much. It obvious, well, it would actually boost the value of this screwdriver tremendously. And I just think it's a pretty good sonic screwdriver. You got some of that silver right below the collar. And as you've probably seen, you're going to be... Pointing it like that in order to activate the sounds, you're going to pull down this silver collar. And overall, just a lovely, lovely screwdriver to have in my collection. I got a bunch of screwdrivers for Christmas. And so, yeah. Um, it's not the tallest of screwdrivers. It's basically around... All the classics are around the same size, but compared to the massive, yeah, we'll just lay down. Compared to the massive um, 11th slash 12th Doctor Sonic enclosed mode 
I mean, this screwdriver is massive, especially in fully extended mode. That thing is flipping huge. Sorry if you, for that banging sound, it just hit the glass. But overall, very nice paint and modeling used on this screwdriver. You know, if they would have just covered that up a, a bit more. I know you won't be able to read it, but still, it's a lot of legal garb. Very ugly. Very ugly. But this is a very nice resemblance to the screwdriver um, Tom Baker used in his run on Doctor Who. Wouldn't you agree, K9? I thought so. Very nice resemblance. And if I do manage to get the last of the classics, I'll be reviewing those last. John Pertwee's third Doctor Sonic. And Sylv Sylvester McCoy slash Paul McGann's 7th to 8th Doctor Sonic screwdriver. I will be um, reviewing those once I get them. But before that happens, um, I have the War... I have the War Doctor Sonic, which I'll be reviewing next, the uh, Ninth Doctor Sonic, Tenth Doctor Sonic, which I got the pen version, a uh, River Song Sonic, and um, Massive Sonic. So that's basically it. Um, I only have. I'm only reviewing this one, so I'm going to wait till I get farther down the line to do more size comparisons. And I'll just have to cut this video here. So, remember, to stay true to Doctor Who, be a Whovian, and embrace your nerdiness. For it'll benefit everyone. Later dudes, this is the Professor signing off.